Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a great week so far. So for this week's video, I thought I would do another fashion related kind of video as the last one you all loved. So this week I'm coming to you with a Pinterest inspired outfit. So I've basically just picked out a few different Pinterest looks that I really love that I've had in my Pinterest board for a while and just screenshot them and try to create outfits out of my wardrobe with them um, and just see how close I can get to them looking exactly the same as the picture. I really hope you guys get some inspiration for like spring outfit ideas and just kind of some cool Pinterest looks so if you want to see what Pinterest outfits I've chosen then keep on watching I basically got all the different outfits that I've chosen all on my phone I picked about five I think in total and um, I did find a few more but I didn't know whether to do like 10, 5, but I thought I'd do 5 because I feel like I'm going to explain like where they're from, how I created them, etc. So I thought I would just do 5 for this week and then if you guys enjoy this video, I can maybe increase it to 10. These are just kind of some spring outfits that I think would be good for this weather particularly. And yeah, just things I found that were really similar to items that I already owned in my wardrobe. Um, so for example, like a trench coat, a white shirt... Um, just things like that really. I feel like every time I try and film a video in here the sun just decides to come out and ruin the lighting completely but we move on from that. So I'm going to attach the pictures of the outfits here for you guys just to show you what they look like close up and instead of just showing you on my phone. But I will show you on my phone as well. Um, so yeah I'm just going to pick a random one first and see which one to do. Let's have a look. So I've got some kind of like more dressy like sophisticated kind of outfits and then some more like casual day-to-day -day running errands kind of vibes as well um so the first one i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna do this one here um so i'll put this on the screen now but i'll just show you my phone as well so it's this one here it's just like a mirror kind of picture if you can see and it basically is just a white shirt blue jeans and then like a white and black striped jumper over the shoulders with just a black bag some white trainers and then just some sunglasses in between the shirt so i think i'm going to do that one first and see if i can style it and make it look good and completely like this picture at the same time i could probably create this picture from home but obviously i'm i'm indoors so i can't really create any of the others because they're all like city kind of pictures um but yeah i think this one is quite similar i'm not going to be able to create any of the hairstyles because it's hair washed out of my robe so it is staying in a slick bun but i'm going to try and get as close to the picture as i possibly can so let's get on with the first outfit so this is the jumper that i'm going to try and replicate so it's black and white stripes and it's a really thick material this is from h&m i've not actually worn it yet um but i think it's really similar to the picture so this is just like an over the arm over the arm over the shoulder kind of vibe so i'm gonna see if i can pull it off um and then i just need a blue jean and a white shirt i'm pretty sure and then some sunglasses and then i've just got this white shirt which is actually a new white shirt this is from my guess i'm pretty sure um so yeah i'm just gonna put this white shirt on with it as it's like a fresh crisp white shirt it's got no creases in it as it's just been bought um whereas like my zara shirts i'm pretty sure are all still creased because i've not wore them since last spring summer so yeah i'm gonna wear that one but it wouldn't be my first choice of shirts to wear and then i've got some blue jeans that are just from zara so i did talk about these in my last video in the spring capsule wardrobe video um but these are just from zara and they're just like a light blue wash baggy cut denim um, and then I'm pretty sure I'm just going to leave this white top on underneath and just kind of put the white shirt over the top um, and then obviously put the jumper on as well. Yeah, as I said, I do have a Zara white shirt, which is my favourite one, but it's really creased and did I have time to iron it? No. So I got this one the other day, um, actually from work, um, because I work part-time, I guess. So I got this as uniform, but... I wouldn't probably wear it out, um, but for this occasion, it's okay. Then I'm just going to add the black and white striped shirt, uh, jumper over the top even. I feel like this is a proper spring kind of vibe outfit. I am here for it. And then let's have a look what bag she needs. So she's just got a black bag, so I might do... My Chanel one, and then I need some sunglasses. I'll do these ones. These are just from Primark. I'm just gonna put these in a little gap here, as she does. Um, 
And then she's got these like white kind of pumps on, but I don't have any of those. So I'm just going to put my New Balance on. I feel like these will go quite well. They're a bit dirty, but who cares? I've just moved you down a little bit so you can see the outfit a bit better. But this is the finished look. Um, so I've just added this Chanel bag with it as well. And I'll compare the two different outfits so you can see whether it looks similar i've lost my glasses put the picture here so you can see whether it looks similar or not um and just kind of compare um but yeah this is the finished outfit i've just got on this jumper which is from h&m and then white shirt is from guess but i've got loads from anywhere really you can get them from charity shop sara pretty little thing anywhere and then i've just added a white vest underneath just for a bit more cover as it's still quite cold out and then i've got these light wash blue denim jeans on from zara the jeans that she's wearing are a bit of like a dark denim but i don't actually own any so these will have to do and then a chanel bag and then i've just got on my new balance um but yeah i thought this is such a cool spring outfit because it's quite layered but at the same time it's cool and summery so yeah i really love this outfit the next outfit I'm going to do is this one here. This is just a really casual but smart kind of look. Um, again, I'm going to put it here for you guys to see. Um, but it basically just is these like brown trousers that are rolled over, which are really cool. I feel like I need a pair of these. Um, and then just like a white crop and a white shirt. And then I think she's got dunks on. I think they look like dunks. So, yeah, this is the outfit. I think this is such a cool, like, casual summer look. Um, especially to add like a bit of layers when you've got trousers and a shirt on I think it's perfect for spring summer well spring going into summer I'd say more um, but yeah I'm going to see if I can create this with anything that I've got so again I'm just going to add the same white shirt that I put on before and then trousers I need to find oh I do actually have a pair of trousers that are quite similar I'd say the colour's similar and they're obviously a straight leg but the fit of them like the baggy fit isn't there and obviously the band which I really thought was so cool, is not there either. Um, which is a bit sad, but I definitely feel like I need to find a pair of trousers that look like that because they're a bit of me. But yeah, these trousers are from H&M and they're super cool. I think I got them in the sale, um, but they're just like a mocha kind of chocolate, not chocolate, kind of a mocha colour. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to try and style these with them, see how they look. And then I'm stuck between three tops. The top that I've got now or... This one, which is just a ribbed crop from Zara. And then this top here, which is also a ribbed top, but it's like a lower cut. But it's more of a creamy colour than a white. Um, and I feel like the white shirt and the white top needs to be like the same shade. Um, but this is from Zara as well. So I'm going to see what they look like. So these are the trousers. They're a bit tight for me. I feel like I've got them in like a four and I'm like a six to eight. Um, but they are a bit small, but it's okay. And then I'm just going to put on white shirt i did try the tops on guys but they just weren't the, sh the same shade of white and it was kind of sending me off a bit so i've kept the same one on be from before i can't talk today i've kept the same one on from before um which is from h&m but let me lower the camera down so you can see a little bit better the vibes are far um i do love these trousers i just don't know whether i'm feeling this bit i feel like if i was really tanned had a tan belly toned had like a little really white crop top on i feel like i'd prefer it more but i still think it's quite cute i don't think i've got any pockets in these um yeah i still think it's cute and then i'm just gonna throw on these black and white panda dunks because i think that is what she was wearing if you look in the picture here i feel like it's quite similar so i'm gonna pop these on see what they look like you can only see the tip of her like shoe above the trouser because the trousers were like extreme like distressed baggy trousers which i love so i really want to find out where they're from and then i just need to see what bag she's got so it's like a neutral kind of bag so either i could do this one i think it doesn't go i feel like it needs to be kind of like a brown vibe to go with the trousers i also feel like they're a bit left out yeah i feel like this is really cool and then i just need to pick some sunglasses and she's kind of got some neutral kind of sunglasses so i'm going to go with these ones that are like a cream pair with like a rectangle kind of shape from primark which is so cute um i'm sure they're like two pounds um, and see what these look like let's shut my drawer but this is the little finished outfit i do think it's cute to be fair like it's growing on me a bit i just think it's so chic and so cool i'm obsessed with this 
So this is look two, moving on to look three. So the next look is kind of like a casual Rune Errands kind of outfit. Um, I tried to like do kind of two different types. So like a casual errand, like comfy but cute outfit. And then obviously more dressy, dinner, like cute picnic vibes kind of outfits as well. So I kind of mixed them together. Um, but this one that I'm going to show you now is just a casual vibe. So it's these joggers with a grey hoodie, a denim jacket and then some New Balance, which I actually own all three of those items um obviously i'll link it there not link it i'll show you the picture there um but yeah i feel like this is going to be really easy to create as everyone really owns a grey tracksuit most people own denim jackets and then any sporty kind of white trainer will go perfectly so i've just got these joggers on from primark they are actually a straight leg jogger i do have a cuffed jogger but they are actually in the wash so these will have to do for jumper i've got another jumper which is from primark it's just like a oversized um sweatshirt not a sweatshirt a jumper um and i love when the jumper has no drawstrings i feel like it just makes it look so much more expensive and a good quality so i'm gonna pop this on guys that was such a struggle to get this jumper over my head the hole was so small to get it in and yeah the bunny's secured still but she went through a bit of distress then Next is obviously the denim jacket. So this is one from PRT, which is in my Spring Essentials video. And honestly, if you don't have this jacket, run to PRT and get it because it's such a good fit. So oversized, so like baggy, especially if you like, like an oversized fit. Um, it's like a really nice light wash blue, but they do it in like a three different shades, I think. And they do it in black and then like a dark blue as well. Um, but it's just like an essential for spring, I think. Who does not love a denim jacket? It's such a cool fit, look obsessed um and then shoes obviously new balance these babies back on and then this is the little fit let me see if she has any sunglasses or anything that i need to accessorize with no she just got a big tote bag um but that is not currently with me right now so i'm gonna have to leave the tote bag um and i might just pair a bag myself do this bag it's just like a white Bottega dupe from Olivia Sales um check her page out they do such good bags on there and accessories um but yeah this is the finished little sporty girl running errands outfit um and then I've just got my new balance on but I feel like this is just a simple cool um vibe and everyone kind of had, has these items in the wardrobe already I feel like but yeah this is like a running errands kind of outfit. Yeah, this is outfit number three. Moving on to four. Next look is kind of a look that I feel like I'm already basically in. I just need to change my jacket and put some different shoes on. Um, but yeah, it is basically just this one here. I'll just show you on the screen. And then it's basically just a grey blazer, a white tank top, and then blue jeans and Uggs. Um, and again, I have all three of those, so it's perfect. I've basically got this outfit on. So I've got the same Zara jeans on, the light wash blue ones, and then this white um, H&M vest. And then this place is from H&M as well, but I'm not going to wear this one because she's actually got a grey one on. And I do really love this one that she's got on, but mine is actually from a charity shop, and I will show it you now. So this is my blazer. It's just like a grey, light kind of grey colour with black buttons. Um, and I actually did say I got this from the charity shop. Um, if you were looking, I did say in my previous video, if you're looking for like a good structured oversized blazer, run to the men's section in a charity shop because you're bound to get one. Um, and they're such a nice fit. So yeah, I'm going to chuck this on and see what it looks like. So this is the blazer. It's such a sick blazer. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I feel like I rinse it so much sometimes. Um, I just love it. And now the debate is between the two different Uggs that I have. So I have one pair from Public Desire, which aren't actually Uggs. And then I have the Ultra Mini Platform Uggs. I think she's wearing the Tasmans. Um, and the Public Desire ones are actually Tasman dupes. So I'll see which ones go better. So these are the shoe options. Um, so obviously I've got the Ultra Mini Platform dupe. Um, these aren't dupes. These are real Uggs. Um, and I got my hands on these about a month ago. No, not a month ago. About two months ago. Um, and I'm obsessed with them. I've rinsed them so much. And then obviously I got these ones. I got these sent by Public Desire, which I love. Thank you so much. Um, and they're just dupes of Uggs. They're like this, a bit of a beige kind of colour. Um, so they're not completely like chestnut, but they're such a nice colour. They're a bit different to the Tasman chestnut ones, but they've got a platform, which I'm obsessed with. And then obviously the red like stitching around, which is so nice. So I'm going to try both pairs on 
and see which I prefer. Got the Public Desire dupes on now and they do look so cool. These are them. Um, just do a bit of gymnastics. Um, yeah, I do love them, but I feel like the chestnut might just go a bit better. Um, but I'm going to compare and see which ones go better and then I'll decide. So this is the finished little look. I'm so obsessed with it. I think it's so cool. I wish I could show you like the bottom of my feet, but the camera won't go down that far because the room is quite small. Um, but yeah, I'm so obsessed with this outfit. I think this is definitely one of my favourites so far. Um, I feel like it's just mostly like me and suits my style the best. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this little outfit. So cute. So the last final outfit I feel like I'm going to be able to create on point so well and it is this little look here. I think it's so cool. I love this girl's Instagram. I actually follow her. I think her name is Hannah Whiting. I'm not too sure of the last name um, but I actually followed her. I followed her for a while and her style is so sick. Um, but yeah it's just this oversized black blazer which I have and I'm obsessed with and then a black turtleneck, hair in a sleek bun, black shades, this bag which I showed you before which is from Olivia Sales, it's a dupe of this one here which is the white Bottega bag which is so cool um, and then some blue jeans and then white trainers so I'm going to try and create this look for you guys um, but I think I'm going to be quite accurate with this, I feel like I've got all of the like clothes that match quite well so we will see how it looks so i've just got this black turtleneck which i'm going to kind of fold up like she has done this is from ralph lauren i had this for so long i think it's about five years old um and i don't tend to wear them anymore but i do think turtlenecks are such staples in your wardrobe especially around like early spring um as they're good for like layering and things so i'm going to pop this on I've got it on, I'm just going to kind of like roll it up just to make it cropped as she's done in the picture. Um, I do love this turtleneck, it's so like stretchy and warm. Um, but yeah, I think I got it from like the outlet, I'm not sure which outlet it was, maybe Cheshire Oaks or something from Ralph Lauren. Um, and yeah, I do love a classic turtleneck, I think it's so chic. I love it. Um, next, I need to put on my black blazer. So this is my black blazer. This is actually, again, from a charity shop. Um, I love to find stuff in charity shops. I go and like find loads of different bargains from Zara, PLT, blazers, all sorts. I get such good things from there. Um, and then this is like a men's oversized structured blazer. I think it was about £10. Um, you really can't go wrong with like men's blazers. I think they're probably the best quality um, than a woman's one. So... Yeah, like look how good and structured it is. It's proper puffed out on the shoulder pads, which I love. Um, but this is the little look, kind of like a black, I love like a black top and then black shoes and blue jeans. I think it looks so cool. Um, so this is the look so far. Then I need to find some shoes. She's got white trainers on, so I'm just gonna put my New Balance back on um, as these are what looks most similar. Then obviously I'm going to use the same bag which is from Olivia Sales which I mentioned as this looks identical. It's basically a dupe of the tiger. So yeah this is the outfit so far and then I just need to find some sunglasses. So I think these are most similar. These are from Primark um, and they're the same as the last ones that I showed you but they're all black and these look really expensive. I love them. And this is the finished look. I will lower the camera just to show you a little bit better. Um, but I'm obsessed. I think this looks so sick and so bougie. Um, obviously, I feel like this looks the most similar out of all of them. As I've pretty much got it all quite accurate. Um, but yeah, I really do love this look. I think it's the most basic but cool look at the same time. And it didn't take much effort for me to do either. To conclude this video here, guys, I really hope you all enjoyed and got some inspiration of like Pinterest outfits. Because I feel like sometimes like I'll be scrolling on Pinterest and I'll see these girls looking so cool. And I feel like you kind of like compare yourselves to them and think, oh, if I wore that, I wouldn't look as cool and as good as them. But you really can. You look good in anything and... As long as you just pull it off in your own way, I think it works out fine. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy creating these outfits for you all. I feel like they're such simple looks that you kind of can create from any wardrobe. Um, and they're quite basic clothes as well, that are staples. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching me create outfits on Pinterest. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and join me on my YouTube journey. But that will be all for now and I will see you in my next video.